Hey guys, Brian Beaker here, Missouri State University, member of Fenwick's Earn Your Wings program. It's about 70 degrees right now in Springfield, Missouri. Got out of class about maybe 30 minutes ago. Decided I couldn't pass up a chance to go hit up one of the local lakes here. Currently I'm on Springfield Lake. And conditions are a little tough today. We got a little bit of chop on the water, on the wind, probably blowing about 12, 15 miles an hour. But I'm batting, battling it with a wacky rig Senko. Throwing it on a seven foot Fenwick Elite Tech bass spinning rod. Luger Supreme spinning reel, size 35 with Berkeley Nano Fill and six pound fluorocarbon. Now to battle the wind, I'm actually throwing it on a weighted Senko, or a weighted wacky rig head. It's about 16th of an ounce right there. And then just a normal Senko. Went with the chartreuse tip tail. We're dealing with a little bit of muddy water. The wacky rig is great for working around any sort of cover. You can skip it, underhand pitch it, flip it, just about anything you want. And it's a great, great lure for whenever conditions are tough and the bite has really slowed down. What you want to do is you'll just want to cast out let the lure sink all the way to the bottom. A lot of your hits will come on that sink because it's going down, it's just going to flutter. If you don't get something on the initial sink, go on ahead and raise your rod tip, just a couple twitches, and it'll come up flicking. Then just let it sink again. Repeat that maybe two, three times in a sequence, and then reel it right back in, pitch it to another spot. Pitch this around any kind of cover, grass line, underneath boat docks, up against sea walls, you'll definitely increase your hookups, especially using the Elite Tech bass rod. Very sensitive tip. The handle with the tack right here, covering it over the reel seat, makes it very comfortable to fish all day long. The wetter it's gonna get, the more tacky it's gonna feel, you're actually gonna have better grip. Now let's see if I can't get one. So like I said, we're gonna just cast it out. I like to use a skip cast just because it gives it a little more suppler presentation in the water. Now I'm just gonna let it sink. You wanna let it sink on as slack as line as you can give it, but definitely watch the line, because if you see any kind of jump at all, go on ahead and just reel set the fish, because you're gonna have a nice fish on. Now it's all the way on the bottom. Didn't get anything on that bite. Now I'm just gonna twitch it. One, two, three. Let it fall back. One, two, three. Let it fall back. Take up just a little bit of slack. Switch it one more time. Let it fall. Nothing on that one. Definitely try the wacky rig, especially whenever you're having tough conditions. So again, this has been Brian Beaker from Missouri State University, member of the Fenwick Earn Your Wings program. Have a good day, guys.